Hello and welcome back to the Dojo of Dane. Okay, so I figured I'd do the last update video since I said I would go ahead and update again. And this is on my Enclomaphene Austerine cycle that I did. I finished the Austerine, so it's time to update. Now, really quick, this is not medical advice. I always consult a doctor before putting anything in your body. This is basically for education purposes, entertainment purposes, nothing else. It's just an experiment. But before we get started, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Shit. I'm the one calling the shots. Uh. I don't get stuck in the box. Feel like I've been through a lot. So, finishing off my enclomaphene and Osterine cycle, I'll go ahead and tell you quickly. I am not overly impressed by Osterine. I got it from one of the leading sources, so I know it's legit Osterine. And the Enclomaphene as well, it's legit. Not overly impressed. I would say the Osterine maybe gave me like a 10% boost in strength. And I mean, I was stronger when I was 25 than I am with Osterine and considering it's a PED. I was expecting to be stronger than I ever was in my life. So, is Austrian an impressive PED? I don't think so. Then again, I've never done any other PEDs to be able to compare. But I will be starting testosterone today. So we can go ahead and compare that because I've heard that it's a lot better. And it is basically a commitment. So I have waited until I'm 33. I've waited until I was 33 basically to try anything so and I've been working out since I was 19 so no I'm not advocating to hop into anything but real quick do you guys know what enclomaphene is I don't know if everybody who's watching has watched my other videos basically enclomaphene is a substance that blocks the signal to your brain that you have estrogen in your body and men produce estrogen estrogen via testosterone so in order for your body to produce estrogen, it has to produce more testosterone, so it creates an upregulation of testosterone into the body in order to make up for that def deficiency that you have. Well, the illusion of deficiency that you have. And that's how it raises the testosterone, basically makes your testicles bigger, makes you produce more uh, luteinizing hormone. And the Osterine is a androgen selective modulator it's a SARM you can take a look at my other video I'll link it down below so you can compare the two but as far as like progress on my body uh, my muscular progress I'll go ahead and show you what I'm looking like and then we can and then we can see and compare to Maybe I'll, I'll do like a month in on testosterone and see if there's a big difference. But like I said, the Osterine wasn't that powerful, kind of uh, disappointing. So I got some abs, but I'm not, I'm not that lean. There's some fat there, fat here. See, maybe uh, I would say I'm a little bit fuller than I was before. Let's see my back. So, as far as it making a different, sorry, as far as it making a difference in my appearance, I would say it made a bit of a difference in my appearance. I'm a bit fuller. You can see my abs more, but I am actually more interested in athletic performance than I am in my appearance, just to be honest with you. So, like I said, I wasn't that uh, impressed by it, but if appearance is the most important part to you you know aesthetics it does make a bit of gains but then again i've been bigger than this before naturally so i'm still not impressed i would like to surpass my natural capacities and yes i eat healthy i sleep well i do everything that you need to do to maximize your results naturally it's just basic aging i guess 33 I'm not that old so it should be good but I also took finasteride for like six years and messed up my testosterone production a bit so it is what it is but 
Yeah, I'm not super impressed, guys. That's it. Peace out.